In this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can become more efficient as we work inside of Microsoft Excel. One of the ways that we can do this is by utilizing Excel shortcut keys. So in this video, I'm gonna show off four shortcut keys. And I promise you, these shortcut keys are gonna help you become more efficient and save you time as you work inside of Excel. So the first shortcut key that we're gonna take a look at here deals with navigating the worksheets within a workbook. So take a look. Open in front of you, I've got an example file. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description of this video where you can download this exact file. You can follow along, you can practice these shortcut keys in this file, whatever you like to do there. Also, while you're down there getting the download, visit the comment section and let me know if you've enjoyed these shortcut keys or if there's another shortcut key that's your favorite. Let us know down inside the comment section. So let's jump in. So inside the example file, I've got four little worksheets, employee data, sheet A, B, and C. So it's not that big of a workbook, four little worksheets, but this could have 20, 50, 100, 100 plus different worksheets in this workbook. I want a quick, efficient way to be able to navigate between these worksheets. Well, to do this, we're gonna involve our function key, a very specific function key, F6. So if I tap F6 on my keyboard right now, you'll notice something about the uh, worksheet tabs there at the bottom of the screen. I'll give it a moment, let that go off my screen. It gets a little black border around the worksheet tab name. So I hit F6, I get that little black border, and now I can hit my left and right arrows. I'll hit my right arrow. This will take that little black box to the right. Now I'm on sheet B, now I'm on sheet C, and if I go back to the left, left arrow, I can navigate between those worksheets. Now, again, F6, arrow keys. As soon as I get to the worksheet that I want, I'll hit the enter key on my keyboard, and this will navigate to that worksheet. So again, it's just F6, left and right arrow keys to navigate between the worksheets, and then enter once you get to the worksheet that you want. Very cool. It's something small, but if you're navigating between larger workbooks, loads of worksheets, it's a very quick, efficient way to do that. All right, there's number one. Here's number two. This one deals with working with a range of cells, making selections of a range of cells. For example, I might wanna select from cell A2, the first employee ID here, all the way down to the last employee ID on this table or this list. Well, I might wanna do this because I wanna format it, I want to copy it, I wanna delete it, whatever it is, but my first step is I need to select that data. Well, typically I would grab my mouse, I would click inside of A2 and I would drag down to the last cell inside that list. Right, very involved with the mouse. Well, the shortcut key that we can utilize here is just a key combination on the keyboard. So first step, I'll click in the topmost cell. I'm gonna press Control, Shift, and then the down arrow. This will select from the top, that active cell A2, all the way down to the bottom of the list, the last employee ID. Now, there is one thing I wanna throw in here. Well, how did Excel know where to stop? Well, it's because of the empty cell. As soon as it found the empty cell, it was like, okay, that must be the end of the list. I'm good, I made the selection. So something to watch for with this shortcut key is if you have an empty cell somewhere in the middle of the list. For example, row number 40, 1922 is not there. It's gone for some reason. Well, control shift in your arrow key would only jump to that empty cell. So do be careful of that. But I can use control shift in any direction on my arrow keys to select in that direction. Very cool. Uh, I can use this in combination with formulas as well. And this is where I use it the most. Let's say over here instead of M2, M2 I need to get a count. I wanna know how many employees we have in this list. Well, I could say equals count, open my parentheses, I'll click into cell F2, the count function counts numeric data, so I'm gonna count all the phone extensions here. Now I need to grab that entire range. Remember the shortcut key? Control, Shift, down arrow. I can make that selection, 
you look at my formula bar, you can see it grab from F2 to F54. I can hit my enter key and I've now got a count of that range. Very cool, control shift in your arrow keys. All right, let's take a look at another shortcut key here. These next two to round out our four deal with working with functions inside of Excel. Now specifically, I've got two little columns here set up to utilize the VLOOKUP, the vertical lookup function. It's perhaps one of the more complex functions inside of Excel. Well, to create this formula, to create this function, I could do this multiple ways. I could go into the K2 cell, go up to my formulas tab, the lookup and reference, and I can go find VLOOKUP. This would then open up the argument window specific to VLOOKUP where it's going to gather information on what it needs in order to perform this calculation. Well, if you're not familiar with the VLOOKUP, I've got a list of IDs here that match some of the IDs in this column, and I want to get the department back based on the employee ID. So 1075 right there, Cheryl Kane is in department AD. So I want to populate that here utilizing the VLOOKUP. Well, that argument window we just saw, formulas, lookup and reference, VLOOKUP, that was a few steps to go through. The shortcut key here is going to help us get quicker access to that window. So here's what I do. I click into the cell I want to drop the formula. I'll say equals VLOOKUP. And on my keyboard, I'm going to press Control A, A like Apple or argument, Control A and this will open up the argument window for me. So equals the name of the function, in this case, VLOOKUP, control A, done. And now I can start to fill in the specifics. See lookup value, I wanna look up the uh, employee ID, the table array, well, where are you looking? I'm gonna get from A2, now remember, I can grab the entire list by using my mouse, or I could press control shift down arrow, Grab that column, control shift right arrow, and that will grab to the end of the list, A2 to H54. And then the call index num, I want the departments, so that's one, two, three, fourth column. And range lookup will say false because I want the exact match. I'll hit okay. And there's AD, 1075, Cheryl, apartment AD. Very cool. Remember, equals function, put in the function name like VLOOKUP or SUM or whatever it might be, control A, you've got the argument window. Now the next one, the final, the fourth shortcut key here is kind of similar to this, but it's a little bit of a different approach, but the idea is the same. We've got a function and I need to get the arguments for that function. So we saw control A to open up the argument window we're gonna throw in one more key inside that control A and it's gonna present it a little bit different. So here, I'll drop down to K3 and I'm gonna say equals V lookup. And this time I'm gonna press control shift A and this will bring the arguments right there. So it's more of a preference. You decide what, what, what is more accessible for you, the argument window or having them laid out right here. But now it's just a matter of, okay, lookup value. I want this one. The table array, we want from A2 to H54. Remember, control shift in your arrow keys. Let's see the column index num. This is gonna be still department, so that's one, two, three, four, fourth column. And then the range lookup, we want the exact match. So I'm gonna say false. I'll hit my enter key. There we go. 1167, Sam Berwick is department SA. We're good to go. So four little shortcut keys, make sure you try them out. Download the exercise file description, jump down there, get to the link, download it. You can practice these right there. You can always rewind and get back to shortcut keys and jump into the comments section. Let me know which one was your favorite and out of these four, and let me know of one that you already use. What's your favorite shortcut key? If you like this video, you learned something new, give the video a like, a little thumbs up. Uh, and if you want to be informed about when I add new videos to YouTube, subscribe to the channel and you'll get an alert. Thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next video.